so guys today we are going to continue with the read function already we learned why we are using read function why we are using open function these things right so we are going to continue with a read function so if you are using read function you know that you can fetch all the data all the data from the file so you can see that this is our file so all the data are displayed here with the space okay initially uh, we have, we have given some spaces in front of the sentence and between the sentence also we give space so everything is followed there so whatever the pattern we followed in a file the same thing is displayed here right so because of because of a read function so because of read function we got it right so read function helps us to fetch the data from a file right where we stored okay so from there we can retrieve the data by using read function unfortunately read function will generate a string data okay if it returns string data the problem is it is a immutable immutable type immutable type means we cannot change we cannot do any changes in the retrieved data so if you are using read function you can get a, a limited set of data for example if i am giving 50 if i am giving 50 inside a read function as a parameter what will happen from the beginning it is going to count each characters it is going to count 50 characters or 50 bytes and it is going to print only 50 characters right so from the starting point to 50 characters it is going to fetch and it is going to save it in a a variable then we are using print function to print it already we know it's right so we are going to run it so let's see the changes you can see that so initially we have given some spaces the spaces also included here so from the beginning my name is vino till here it is a 50 characters right so previously we we know that we saw all the data are displayed but here after giving a specific amount of size 50 kuduthirukku 50 characters verikku eduthu print pannichu okay remaining data is omitted okay so next namba enna pannalam we can create one more variable okay appra enna pannalam right hand side la ob object name dot read function again i am going to use read function inga uh, will give 10 okay so here let's see what will happen so it is going to read next 10 characters already we read 50 characters here you know 50 characters padichaachi print paniyaachi now we are going to read next 10 characters okay let's see what will happen see here after so uh, second line is fully empty included empty line is included with we know school ila sc mattum da vandirukku because so up to 10 characters after 50 10 characters we got it seriya so if i am giving 15 here you can see here so uh, the size is getting increased because we increase the size from 10 to 15 we have given so we change the data so that's why the result is changing so like this the read function works can we find out it is a string data so to find out a string data we can use type function so inside type function we can give a variable name so so type function is going to check the variable name the data which it stores okay it is going to give a type of a data okay so if i runs it i will not get output okay so what i have to do i have to print the result so inside print function i am going to put type function so you can see here str class str so if you are using read function it will generate string data type it will generate string data type if it is a string data type it is a immutable if it is a immutable we cannot change it for further purpose right so next we are going to discuss read line function okay so read line function is going to read 
whole sentence or whole line right so it will not accept the parameters like read function right so here we are using a read line so this particular read line function is going to read first line then a read line function is going to read second line okay let's check the output you can see here first line and second line is not visible because our second line is empty space right so that's why we are, we can see only first line so if you want to see third line we have to use one more read line function so uh, to use read line function left hand side we are going to create one more variable ob dot r e a d read l i n e read line function right so here i am going to use c so if you are using read line function it is also generates string data like a read function so both are having similarities right so here we have to print the c value so that's why it is not showing third line c so this read line is going to read first line this read line function is going to read second line this read line function is going to read third line right so first line is data second line second line is empty line third line is also data see here so first line second line is empty this one is third line this one is a type of a data right so as i said read line and read function both are generating string data right so next we are going to discuss read lines function okay so for read lines functions uh, no need to create uh, more variables because it is going to read whole data okay so read lines function and here if you are using the read lines function it is it is going to generate a list data okay if you are, if it is generating list data okay it is a mutable data type so we can change the data so if you are using read lines functions it is very important right so if you want to do any changes in already saved data we have to use read lines function because it it will generate a list data type we are getting error what is the mistake so here uh, we have to give we deleted c mm, so right so you can see the result okay so uh, the data starts from square bracket if a data is starts from square bracket ends with square bracket it is a list data type you can see the each and every line starts with single quotes and ends with single quotes with the next line right so next line starts from after comma so here we are having normal data so this normal data normal text data is converted into list data type by using square bracket so these three functions helps us to read a data from stored a file so far we learned to read a data so next we will learn how to write a data and as well as how to append a data erkenave irukra data va eppadi maathalam eppadi adha extra add pannalam paakaporom then data va eppadi add pandradun paakaporom 